And on that bombshell, <laughs> it is time to end. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Good night. <laughs> So it's BBC Three's last night on TV, but we're moving into a brand new shiny home online tomorrow. Make sure you're there. Life and Death Row returns tomorrow and you can catch it on the brand new site. Also coming soon online, the man who witnessed 291 executions. Make sure you look out for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me, yeah. Dale. <laughs> What area are you in exactly? This time you might handle the baby duties. I don't think so. It's happening! Ah! She's As an adult, we take responsibility for our own actions. Ah! Ah! That said, don't tell your mother. Cuckoo, online tomorrow on BBC Three. Hi, I'm Sam with the latest from 60 Seconds at 8. The trial of footballer Adam Johnson has heard a girl's tearful interview in it. She describes kissing in an alleged sex act with him. He denies two counts of sexual activity with a child. Pilots want tougher laws on the sale and owning of lasers after a plane had to turn back when a pilot was injured in the eye. The Virgin flight landed safely at Heathrow. More tributes to indie band Viola Beach and their manager. They died in Sweden on Saturday when their car plunged into a canal. The family say they were living the dream. Ronnie O'Sullivan says he deliberately missed the chance to score a maximum 147 break at the Welsh Open. He thought the 10 grand prize money wasn't worth it. And Kanye West claims he's in debt to the tune of $53 million. He's publicly asked Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg to invest a billion in his ideas. Yeah, good luck with that. The final night of three on TV continues now with a classic, Don't Tell the Bride. We're here to interview a female who alleges she's been a missing person for the last 13 years. You believe me, don't you? Reports that their daughter Ivy snatched as a 13-year-old in 2003 has been found alive. Ivy, tell me that you're okay, please. They just need to hear us in time. Mom, I'm sorry, but that girl isn't her. 13. Coming soon, online to BBC Three. Cardiff's cutest couple here at nine, Gavin starting his new job in Gavin and Stacey. First, though, on BBC Three, oh, it's the last time I'm going to get to say this, it's Don't Tell the Bride, with a massive gamble for the big day. Hi, I'm Sam. It's nine o'clock. Time for a quick update. A girl's described how she met footballer Adam Johnson for a thank you kiss and more. Her tearful account was played at his trial. He denies two counts of sexual activity with a child. Lasers should be banned and classed as offensive weapons. That's the view of top pilots. It's after a Virgin flight was forced to turn back when a laser injured a pilot's eye. Stephen Fry's left Twitter again. It's in the wake of the backlash to him comparing a BAFTA winner to a bag lady. He insists she's a dear friend and got the joke. No John Terry for Chelsea tomorrow. He's not travelled to France for their Champions League last 16 tie with Paris Saint-Germain. He's got a hamstring injury. And it's the last night of BBC Three on TV. From tomorrow, the channel moves online. The Daily Drop will keep you updated, but it does mean tonight's the final night of 60 seconds. Well, keep it three now for another three classic. It's Gavin and Stacey. Hi, Chibadi G here, CEO of the UK's only dial-up internet cafe. Dial-up to get down. I'm here to tell you that BBC Three isn't closing. It's moving to the interwebs. Let's do a QA and a in my cyber palace. Come on, guys. How can I get BBC Three? Easy. There's a new BBC Three site, BBC iPlayer, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and they're showing programmes on BBC One and Two. Are BBC Three still going to be doing some new stuff? Of course, my little sugar face. New short videos, new long programmes, and me in the new series of People Just Do Nothing. Peanut dust. So come down to the Cyber Palace, open 24-7, so you can BBC Three all night long, baby. Hit the light, tiger face. <laughs> Let's disco. <laughs> Chibody G's the name. Interweb is the game. Hello everyone, uh, BBC Three has been a huge part of my life and career. It took a chance 
on me and Ruth Jones and this little show that we wrote. And for that chance, I and so many other writers and directors will always be grateful. I wish BBC Three all of the best of luck with your big move online. I can't wait to see what you'll be showing in the future. But in the meantime, for the last time ever on BBC Three television, this is Gavin and Stacey. So here we are at the starting line of this year's Sport Relief Games. All my friends know the low rider. Walk, run, swim or cycle yourself proud. Sign up now at bbc.co.uk slash sportrelief. It's me, Dale. Dale, when you were a businessman, what area were you in exactly? This time you might handle the baby duties. I don't think so. As an adult, we take responsibility for our own actions. Oh! Oh! That said, don't tell your mother. Cuckoo, online tomorrow on BBC Three. Three. Ben's got some serious thinking to do, hopping over to the square with EastEnders in half an hour. Calling all you ladies first, though, on BBC Three. It's Little Britain. Showbiz at 11, keep it three now for EastEnders. We're here to interview a female who alleges she's been a missing person for the last 13 years. You believe me, don't you? Reports that their daughter Ivy, snatched as a 13-year-old in 2003, has been found alive. Ivy, tell me that you're okay, please. They just need to give her some time. Mum, I'm sorry, but that girl isn't her. 13. Coming soon, online to BBC Three. There's lager and packets of crisps everywhere. Better get this cleared up before the big move online tomorrow. Bet they don't have this problem in the Vic. EastEnders now on three. Oh my God, it's happening! <laughs> Are these the sort of programmes the BBC should be making? Yeah, of course it is. Back so. Sorry isn't enough. It's healthy to have a conversation about things that make you uncomfortable. And when it all blows off, I'll be there in the bubble right now. All I want to do is come because talk is fit. You ain't even got a bottle of energy. You just caught a card. Where dreams are made. I saw the foreman handing over the paper, and her hand was shaking. I think maybe Daniel should have died that night. It's like you're having a funeral over and over again. We can't have people like that in our community. He's got a track record of other crimes. Here is a human life that is hanging in the balance. The BAFTA award-winning Life and Death Row returns online tomorrow on BBC Three. Family Guy meets The Simpsons. Love that episode. See it here on BBC Three at 11 o'clock tonight as the Griffins head for Springfield. First on three, with some strong language, there's strike action at Abbey Grove. Who will Alfie side with in Bad Education? It's me, Dale. <laughs> Dale, when you were a businessman, what area are you in exactly? This time you might handle the baby duties. I don't think so. It's happening! Ah! She's As an adult, we take responsibility for our own actions. Ah! Ah! Dale! That said, don't tell your mother. Cuckoo, online tomorrow on BBC Three. Hi, Chibadi G here, CEO of the UK's only dial-up internet cafe. Dial-up to get down. I'm here 
prepared to tell you that BBC3 isn't closing. It's moving to the interwebs. Let's do a Q&A in my cyber palace. Come on, guys. How can I get BBC3? Easy. There's a new BBC3 site, BBC iPlayer, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and they're showing programmes on BBC1 and 2. Are BBC3 still going to be doing some new stuff? Of course, my little sugar face. New short videos, new long programs, and me in the new series of People Just Do Nothing. Peanut dust. So come down to the Cyber Palace, open 24 7, so you can BBC 3 all night long, baby. Hit the light, Tiger Face. <laughs> Let's disco. <laughs> Put your body G's in there. Interweb is the game. Hi, I'm Sam with the day's entertainment news on 3. Viola Beach have entered the midweek top 40. Fans are paying tribute to the indie band killed in Sweden at the weekend. And their families say they were living the dream. Stephen Fry has left Twitter again. It's in the wake of the backlash to him comparing a BAFTA winner to a bag lady. He insists she's a dear friend and got the joke. Kanye West claims he's in debt to the tune of $53 million. He's publicly asked Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg to invest a billion in his ideas. Zayn Malik, Beck, John Legend and Avril Lavigne, some of the stars at last night's pre-Grammys party. Adele's among those performing at tonight's ceremony. And a reminder that it's the final day of BBC Three on TV. From tomorrow, the channel's online. The Daily Drop will update you, so this is the last ever night of 60 seconds. And our final update is just after midnight. Keep it three now for Family Guy. We're here to interview a female who alleges she's been a missing person for the last 13 years. You believe me, don't you? Reports that their daughter Ivy, snatched as a 13-year-old in I 2003, has been found alive. Ivy, tell me that you're OK, please. They just need to give us some time. I'm oh, not sorry, but that girl isn't her. 13. Coming soon, online to BBC Three. We're off to the Family Land theme park with American Dad at quarter to 12. The Griffins are off to Springfield first, though, on three. I saw the foreman handing over the paper, and her hand was shaking. I think maybe Daniel should have died that night. It's like you're having a funeral over and over again. We can't have people like that in our community. He's got a track record of other crimes. Here is a human life that is hanging in the balance. The BAFTA award-winning Life and Death Row returns online tomorrow on BBC Three. Are these the sort of programmes the BBC should be making? Yeah, of course it is. Back so. Enough. It's healthy to have a conversation about things that make you uncomfortable. Where dreams are made. Three. Stan's sleepwalking at ten past twelve. We're kicking off a double bill of American Dad right now on BBC Three, which should give me time to pack up the last of those boxes for our big move online tomorrow. It's me, Dale. Dale, when you were a businessman, what area were you in exactly? This time, you. The baby I don't think so. It's happening! Ah! As an adult, we take responsibility for our own actions. Oh! 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 That said, don't tell your mother. Cuckoo, online tomorrow on BBC Three. 
Hi, I'm Sam with the last ever 60 seconds on three. And it's the last night of three on TV. The daily drop will keep you updated online, but it means this is the final ever 60 seconds. So that's it from me, my incredible producer, Nikki, and top picture editor, Josie. Thank you for watching and for all your lovely messages. Good night. We're here to interview a female who alleges she's been a missing person for the last 13 years. You believe me, don't you? Reports that their daughter Ivy, snatched as a 13-year-old in 2003, has been found alive. Ivy, tell me that you're okay, please. They just need to give her some time. Well, I'm sorry, but that girl isn't her. 13. Coming soon, online to BBC Three. We've packed some awesome stuff into our last night on BBC Three, ahead of the big move online tomorrow. Stick around for the mighty boosh, got some girls and cuckoo all here after American Dad. Hi, it's Shibadi Ji here, CEO of the UK's only dial-up internet cafe. Dial-up to get down. I'm here to tell you that BBC Three isn't closing. It's moving to the interwebs. Let's do a QA and a in my cyber palace. Come on, guys. How can I get BBC Three? Easy. There's a new BBC Three site, BBC iPlayer, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and they're showing programmes on BBC One and Two. Are BBC Three still going to be doing some new stuff? Of course, my little sugar face. New short videos, new long programmes, and me in the new series of People Just Do Nothing. Peanut dust. So come down to the Cyber Palace, open 24-7, so you can BBC Three all night long, baby. Hit the light, tiger face. <laughs> Let's disco. <laughs> Chibody G's the name. Interweb is the game. We're here to interview a female who alleges she's been a missing person for the last 13 years. You believe me, don't you? Reports that their daughter Ivy, snatched as a 13-year-old in 2003, has been found alive. Ivy, tell me that you're okay, please. They just need to give us some time. Well, I'm sorry, but that girl isn't her. 13. Coming soon, online to BBC Three. on the way in half an hour while you can catch the new series online tomorrow as we launch. Some girls now though on three with strong language and some scenes of a sexual nature. It's me, Dale. Dale, when you were a businessman, what area were you in exactly? This time you might handle the baby duties. I don't think so. As an adult, we take responsibility for our own actions. Oh! Oh! That said, don't tell your mother. Cuckoo, online tomorrow on BBC Three. I saw the foreman handing over the paper, and her hand was shaking. I think maybe Daniel should have died that night. It's like you're having a funeral over and over again. We can't have people like that in our community. He's got a track record of other crimes. Here is a human light that is hanging in the balance. The BAFTA award-winning Life and Death Row returns online tomorrow on BBC Three. I don't think it's what many people would deem as being homeless. There's a forgotten part of society. Well, me, yeah, they don't want people like me here anymore. They, like, so they price us out. They don't want your standard guy. Professor Green looks at youth homelessness and asks, are we creating a lost generation? This is not a quality of life. It's not living, it's existing. It, it, it is like a completely separate world. And it's weird because they coexist. The other one is just up there. Professor Green, Hidden and Homeless, available now on BBC iPlayer. Three. Poor Josh, pool party, can't swim, nightmare in half an hour. First on BBC Three, catch up on Cuckoo before the new series starts online tomorrow on our new site. And watch out for strong language too. We're here to interview a female who alleges she's been a missing person for the last 13 years. You believe me, don't you? Reports that their daughter Ivy, snatched as a 13-year-old in 2003, has been found alive. Ivy, tell me that you're okay, please. They just need to give us some time. Well, I'm sorry, 
But that girl isn't her. 13. Coming soon online to BBC Three. I saw the foreman handing over the paper, and her hand was shaking. I think maybe Daniel should have died that night. It's like you're having a funeral over and over again. We can't have people like that in our community. He's got a track record of other crimes. There is a human life that is hanging in the balance. The BAFTA award-winning Life and Death Row returns online tomorrow on BBC Three. the sort of programs the BBC should be making. Yeah, of course it is. Back so. Do you understand that sorry isn't enough? Oh. It's healthy to have a conversation about things that make you uncomfortable. And when it all blows up, I'll be there in the bubble right now. All I want to do is cut it out. Because is fit. You ain't even got a bubble. Oh, my you just caught a God. Zigadoo, now, 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 Where dreams are made. Greg Davis joins Nick Grimshaw on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show tomorrow morning. Hear it live from 6.30 or listen again on the Radio 1 website. Three. Taking you right back to where Uncle first started. Episode 1, Series 1, on the way in half an hour. First though on BBC Three, Josh. He's such a cutie. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, me, Dale. Yeah, yeah. Dale, when you were a businessman, what area were you in exactly? This time, you might handle the baby duties. I don't think so. It's happening! Ah! She's killing it! As an adult, we take responsibility for our own actions. Oh! Oh! Dale! Dale! That said, don't tell your mother. Cuckoo, online tomorrow on BBC Three. Three. Hannah is dating a total hottie in half an hour in siblings. First, though, on BBC Three, life is about to change forever for Uncle with strong language. We're here to interview a female who alleges she's been a missing person for the last 13 years. You believe me, don't you? Reports that their daughter Ivy, snatched as a 13 year old in I 2003, has be been found alive. Ivy, tell me that you're okay, please. Isn't 13. Coming soon online to BBC Three. I saw the foreman handing over the paper and her hand was shaking. I think maybe Daniel should have died that night. It's like you're having a funeral over and over again. We can't have people like that in our community. He's got a track record of other crimes. There is a human life that is hanging in the balance. The BAFTA award-winning Life and Death Row returns online tomorrow on BBC Three. Three. Gavin and Stacey on the way, plus a very special message from James Corden before our launch online tomorrow. Before that, though, on BBC Three, it's siblings with strong language and some scenes of a sexual nature, which are probably courtesy of Hannah. Yay. It's Yay. me, Dale. Dale. Businessman, what area are you in exactly? This time you might handle the baby duties. I don't think so. It's happening! Ah! She's killing it! As an adult, we take responsibility for our own actions. Ah! Ah! Oh! Dale! That said, don't tell your mother. Cuckoo, online tomorrow on BBC Three. Three. So that is almost it. Oh, we so love being your voices on BBC Three. It's been mega fun. But bigger, better things around the corner, right? Yep, tomorrow's the big day, the launch of our amazing, sparkly new home online. But just before we go, James Corden's got a cheeky little message for your gorgeous three lot, ahead of Gavin and Stacey. Which is our last programme, but we'll see you on the other side. Can't wait. Hello, everyone. Uh, BBC Three has been a huge part 
of my life and career. It took a chance on me and Ruth Jones and this little show that we wrote. And for that chance, I and so many other writers and directors will always be grateful. I wish BBC Three all of the best of luck with your big move online. I can't wait to see what you'll be showing in the future. But in the meantime, for the last time ever on BBC Three television, this is Gavin and Stacey. We're here to interview a female who alleges she's been a missing person for the last 13 years. You believe me, don't you? Reports that their daughter Ivy, snatched as a 13-year-old in 2003, has been found alive. Ivy, tell me that you're okay, please. You just need to give us some time. Mum, I'm sorry, but that girl isn't her. 13. Coming soon, online to BBC Three.